Well, hello everyone. So the very first step, of course, is the eye primer. Um, it's the same one I always use. Really like this one. It's really affordable as well. I think it's like about £4, £5 if you get it on Jules online. So as we can see, we put it at the top and then the bottom bit. So wherever your eyeshadow is going to be. And then just use your finger to blend it all out. Pat, pat, pat. Yep, sweep. And then second step is to use these doe foot applicator. So I'm going to be using that colour in Fenty Beauty. The colour is called Midnight Bolt. We're actually only going to be using just this one colour. Okay, I know a lot of people would say stay away from these like doe foot kind of applicator. But as you can see in this one, it's actually quite slim. I find they just save so much time. <laughs> like, just literally pop it all over. Try not to... We're trying to make a circle. I know you can't really tell. It's 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 attempting to look like a circle on my eyes. So we're trying to concentrate the pigment. Like the closer to the eye, the more pigmented. So we're just now putting the exact same color, midnight bolt, at the lower line. And then I'm just trying my best to fit it in and make sure to join them as well. So there we are, the under eye, and then. We're literally going to take this all the way onto the inner corner. Now that you are looking like a panda, you will seal the very inner corner. So there, you are now looking more like a fully fledged panda. You should keep going. Now we're just going to attempt to blend this with an actual fluffy brush. Now we weren't going to use that little doe foot applicator to blend. It won't look good. But yes, pretty much we're just going to take a... The br this is meant to be a clean brush, but for some odd reason, the James Charles palette has stained my brush and I can't seem to remove some of the colour. So, clean brush, and what you can do is pretty much buff out all the edges. So, you see, now no, no, it's nice and smooth. But yes, um, make sure to clean your, your brushes because they, they stain. Some colours does stain, especially I think like vegan formula. Certain colours just won't budge. So, pretty much take your time, just fluffy it out. So it's almost like an oval shape now, so as, this is so hard to explain, but it's like a, a oval kind of shape I'm going for, like if you see the outer corner. And we're also going to have to buff the underneath as well because we don't want any harsh line, just joining out the outer corner, just buff everything in so it's like solid colour. Ta-da! Now we're going in with the exact same colour again, but with a finer brush so you can see that gap on my eye, we're just literally filling it in. and. Pretty much concentrating a lot of the pigment onto the closest part of the eyes. That's, that's the best description I can do. Then me just doing some detail work or attempting to. There we are. So just filling that bit in because you want most of the pigment to be closest to the eye. So I'm just just going in. Yes. Don't forget to join up the lash line. See now 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 it's looking like something, kind of not quite but but it's getting there. I promise. Ta-da, ta-da, it is now blended. Now you want to blend the inner corner, pretty much just touch everything up. Now it's the fun part, eyeliner. Not really, eyeliner, eyeliner is difficult. Like my biggest recommendation on doing proper eyeliner, proper, hmm, no such thing. But pretty much getting as symmetrical as possible is to look straight into the mirror and just draw two lines. I'm currently not doing it, but that, that was the best method. I kind of winged it with this one, <laughs> winged it. That's such a bad joke, I'm so sorry. Okay, now we're back on tight lining. This is just painful, like, that's... You know, it's worth it. I'm, I'm telling you, it's worth it. It pulls everything together. It just doesn't look that pleasant. It doesn't hurt, I promise. Unless you stab yourself in the eye, then that's different. Oh no, oh no, this is why you wait until it dries. Because <sighs> then now you're going to have to fix it. That's, that's sad times. Okay, now we're just going to fill in the lower water lash, that water light line, yep, I, I don't know what's the exact name, but that, that bit, yes. Okay, now that you've filled in that bit, we're now adding lip gloss. This one is Winky Lux. This colour is stunning. Honestly, I wish you could see it in real life. Go to Superdrug after the pandemic and check this out. It will stain your lips slightly pink, but oh, the glitter is everything on this. So now we're going in with my favourite L'Oreal Telescopic and just making some eyelash out of um, air, pretty much, because there's really nothing there on my one. I don't... Genetics. I'm not going to lie, I get so jealous when I see like Kim K's eyelashes, lower eyelash. I'm like, but how? How are they real? Are they real? Let me know. 
yep, we're just pretty much going back. I normally do two coats on my lower eyelash because more is more. And now we're going in with the Ardell Naked Lash and I'm using the Jewel Eyelash Glue. Don't forget to give it 30 seconds because otherwise it won't stick. Oh, eyelash, false eyelash just makes the look. I'm telling you, if you can get used to it, it, it just pulls everything together. But it does take practice. Like you can see me struggle. Yep, we got that in the end. Oh, okay, not quite, I'm joking. We now need to make the eyelash more fluffier because I, I, I just felt like more, you know? It's, we're going for like cobalt blue eye look. So a thicker eyelash, oh, you can see the difference. It just gives them that extra wow factor, if you know what I mean. Yeah, there we are. And ta-da, okay, this is actually the final look, guys. Um, it's really easy. It actually took me 15 minutes to pull this whole thing off with editing a lot longer But overall, I think it turned out pretty well considering we only used one eyeshadow color I'm telling you now the Fenty Galaxy palette and the Winky Lux lip gloss will not disappoint Thanks so much for listening. See you next time. Bye. Bye